<coughs> timing. Three, two, one, go. So this is Beetle Adventure Racing and I'm Andy Panther, the racing game queen from Switzerland, as they call me. <laughs> Um, the first important thing about Beetle Adventure Racing speedruns uh, are um, you are faster if you reset at the start of the track because uh, you have better speed and you can drive through the other beetles. Yeah, that's just the resetting mechanic of the game. It's really important because it's actually intended to bring you back to the main track in case you got lost. But that's because the levels are so huge and based on exploration, so they put that in the game. And it restarts you with a set speed of around 60 kilometers, so it's perfect for the start. The normal start is really slow. And you will see that mechanic more often in the next levels. <laughs> so the only boxes that uh, Annie is collecting here, uh, uh, are, collecting here is, uh, are the uh, nitro boxes for the Nitro Boost. Yeah, there are those bonus points, but uh, we don't care about those in this category. There are for uh, getting continues or unlocking uh, stages for multiplayer. But yeah, they are ignored in this category. Yeah, and the rubber banding AI just wanted <laughs> oh, to yeah. troll me. I have the police vehicle, the overall best vehicle in the game, because it's the only one that doesn't have bad controls. It's not actually the one with the fastest top speed, but the controls just make it that much faster. And I can use this. This just stops all the other drivers. It's like it as an easter egg that, that this car has. You get this car by uh, beating bonus circuit the fast, uh, first time. And it's a really useful feature, because the AI can really troll you. They sometimes even destroy your car if you get unlucky. One thing that is important about the physics in this game is that you're slower when jumping. So you want to stick to the ground as much as you can. And sometimes th this can be really hard to control because the physics in this game are crazy. Yeah, the air physics are unpredictable. You can learn to control them, but it takes a lot of time. And there are things that are just way too random and out of your control. Like this mine part right here, I learned how to st uh, stay to the ground until the jump. But this um, section after the jump is just almost impossible to avoid. Uh, that there's a second jump there. I think it's based on the angle of the jump or something. Oh, and fun fact about this game. It's actually made by EA, believe it or not. And it doesn't matter on which terrain you are driving on. You're you have the same speed on grass, on sand, yeah, and of course on the street. Yeah, but it, um, it actually kind of makes sense that they implemented it that way because if you, you create a racing game that is based around exploring those crazy levels, it would just suck if you would slow down when being off-road. It's a really unique game and you can only play it on N64, there is no real release and you should not play it on emulator because the physics are broken there. Uh, maybe I could say something about the category. Bonus circuit is just all the levels in the highest difficulty. The other categories um, just have one level less each and slower AI, so it would be pointless to do them because it's just the same levels. So you see, um, in lap 3, a new uh, path opens up to the finish line and the other is closed. 
and it's actually possible on some levels to get past this barrier to go to the finish line early but um, it won't do anything because you haven't triggered the checkpoints you need but it would be great if such a skip was possible Yeah, that was the starting again. I just don't know what the developers were thinking. <laughs> because if you don't start like this, it will be extremely slow and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. And this level, you will, for the first time, uh, see what the reset mechanic can also do. Yeah, yeah. And you will perform a reset warp. You will see it later. It's a really good technique in this game. Yes. Um, that was the reset warp. So um, this is based on the checkpoint system yeah. of this game because when this game decides to put you somewhere after you pressed L or died, then it looks where in what uh, checkpoint area you are and then puts you there. But some of those areas overlap into earlier part of the levels. And so you can just go and abuse that mechanic to warp yourself ahead. And that's the main trick about this game. And here, um, I will try it in the next lap. There's another trick you can do here. It saves a bit of time. You can see the warp if you are looking on the bottom right mini map. And you oh. see how the physics can completely troll you, because the game now decided to give me a really low jump, and I don't really know what affects that. And I just wanted to give me a barrel roll after that jump. So I didn't do anything. I just jumped there, and then I didn't have any control. You can. Uh, do uh, anything in the air but break or reset. And the AI, it will always approach me at this point. It's just really predictable rubber banding. <laughs> the first three levels you will have that. No, it doesn't matter how fast you are, they will always find a way to catch up. Broken rubber banding. <laughs> so this game is a, a like, really small community. Oh, that's like the weirdest RNG ever. Um, add that to the that never happened counter. <laughs> but yeah, our community is really small. There's just two people actively running it. Me and uh, a math monkey that is currently the time trial champion of this game. You should all go follow him on YouTube. He's insanely good at this game. And another person that did this game, and you wouldn't believe who it is, is actually Cosmo, Cosmo Wright. I found out that he's part of the old time trial community of Beetle Adventure Racing from back in 2006, I think. And I searched uh, through the, uh, those old forums and Cyberscore pages, and then I saw his name. And yeah, eventually I, I contacted him about it and then he decided to play this game again and found some new stuff even that I'm still using now. So he doesn't really need the advertising, but shout outs to Cosmo. <laughs> I hope you're watching. We got some donations. Is it okay for me to read donations? Yeah, go on. I have time for that. We got $2 from Anonymous saying, shout out to the RGB shirt boys for being back. 
Uh, chat loves you forever and all of your silliness. Also, shout outs to the game of my childhood. I loved this game so much. We have a $5 donation from Waddle saying, Here, take my money for them, kid. Wait, that's the wrong stream, Kappa. Love you, Morel. Thank you, Waddles. Thank you so much. Welcome to Inferno Isle. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> the longest level in the game and probably the hardest to optimize. Yeah. There's a really hard part in this uh, lab. And the end is um, cursed. A lot of the reset warps and the hardest individual section in the game. Right. And I'm in the town. And now town, please be nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was decent. Oh. Going down here can um, be so random. The game can be extremely nice and stick that beetle to the ground all the way. This can save like three seconds uh, just for, the, for, uh, for that warp there. And it can kill runs. And it's actually so fast to uh, do that route there that even if you to get it extremely slow, it's still faster than going around it. And that's this another reset warp here that I found. Yeah, you just have to look at that, that texture there at the wall. Another reset warp. You see, this level is reset heavy. And it's still really long. <laughs> yeah, even with all those tricks. Yeah. And this jump here, it doesn't look that bad, but that's a video on my YouTube where I do that jump first normally, but then I get a bunny hop on the landing and it goes so high that the game uh, throws me out of bounds. So anything is possible with the jumps in this game. And you can, for some reason, uh, enhance your jumps when using the handbrake in the air with the right timing. I know that it doesn't make much sense, but it works. The handbrake has weird physics, and if you use it in the air while being stuck at a wall, you can actually get a speed boost. And those speed boosts can be so high that it can push you out of bounds. that turn uh, that I do to exit the volcano. I actually like to call them Cosmo turns because he came up with them. Uh, yeah, the game, <laughs> something is not right with the physics. <laughs> but yeah, the Cosmo turns uh, are based on releasing the A button during a turn and holding the set button. Then you will go into this weird slide mode that does slow you down, but not, uh, not by a lot. And for some really sharp turns, it's the best option you have because they are too sharp to just tap A like I do on some lighter turns or just 
use nothing at all, just get to them. <coughs> and you wouldn't believe how hard those turns are to learn. So, for some reason, the hardest part about this level was the best thing in this run, and uh, only the easy things gave me trouble. The logic of fetal racing. I have to be careful here to not hit the ceiling. able to snipe me here so I will prevent that you can be like a PP pace on this <laughs> level here and you can still get second place they are able to drive with uh, record times Does anyone here get reminded of Mario Kart 64 So there's a really, really crazy uh, reset war in this level. I call it Temple War. Actually, it, um, it's a, one of the older tricks in this game and there is more than one method to it. I just go here and press L. And you and skip a lot of temple. Yes, I do. There's actually a way that gets you even more ahead that I found, but um, it's too slow with the setup time, so it's not used. And then, uh, uh, some times after I told Cosmo about this game, he came up with a new strat that involves going up the ramp and pressing L there, and then it gives you this location that you saw here. And then uh, someone named Xuku uh, beat the record here with the method that I'm using. Because uh, going up the ramp is a bit slower than doing it on the right side. Oh, please, Beetle, don't jump, don't jump. Go back on top of your wheels, please. Stupid Beetle. I was hoping to get back on the wheels because, yeah, even if I would have got them back on them and recovered, it would have been faster than, yeah, resetting out of it. Trolly, trolly game. And then there's the scary jump. I got the second jump. But I survived it. The optimal uh, way to do that there is uh, to get a really low jump that barely makes it. But of course that's risky. And the high jump uh, will always make it, but you can get that bunny hop. And if it's a really bad one, you have to reset and lose a lot of time. So for the last uh, lap, you can look on the mini-map in the bottom right corner, so you can see um, that you did any um, skip a lot of the temple. Some of you may have seen the pyramid jump strat from Cosmo. 
I think he did that sometime in his stream. It involves uh, going in a, to an out of bounds area and then doing a crazy handbrake jump from a pyramid that brings you to a later part of this level that in theory would skip a lot, but the thing is that you skip a checkpoint by doing that, uh, so it's useless. Oh, it did it again, the RNG today. <laughs> Because in practice, I never got that a second jump there once. <laughs> this is our physics. <laughs> this is marathon luck, man. Yeah. I know I say a lot that it is RNG. Some of them are not really RNG. Um, 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 this game is uh, about um, focusing on your run and learning about those small physics things, uh, learning how to control the physics. Like, uh, there's, uh, there are some places where the beetle likes to do those random jumps, so you can learn to uh, tap A there or just avoid them. And it just takes a lot of practice. But then there are things like uh, your, the height of your jumps that can't really be uh, uh, manipulated, or those Especially those second jumps that I think are based on the angle of the first jump and the speed. And I just can't think of a way to manipulate it. Especially since this game is quite fast. But I wouldn't say it's that random that uh, it's not fun to run. It's a really underrated game and an underrated speed game at the same time. Is there time for a donation? Yeah, there's time. Uh, there is one uh, donation from Yoey, $20. Hey Andy, wow, you got me up this early, but well worth it. A few years ago, you uh, you started out speedrunning. Now you're already running at the ESA. Impressive. Enjoy your time in Sweden, and the best of luck for your run. See you soon. That was the show. Then there is also another donation from Anonymous. Two, uh, two bucks. Why must every game have uh, lava in it? Metro Madness is also called Reset Madness by me. Not only because it can kill runs, but it has some really crazy reset warps like this one. And the story behind this warp is that I found it on this old uh, forum and it was in, written in really bad English and I could barely understand what uh, I was supposed to do but eventually I figured out how. I have no idea who found it but shout outs to that person, shout outs to the old beetle racing community. I actually got this nitro first try and this nitro can be annoying because sometimes it puts you into a sliding state where the turns slow you down. I think it's still faster to get it even if that happens but you should try to avoid it and the only method I found was to tap A during it that sometimes helps. This time I got lucky.
is probably one of the um, most interesting stages in the game just because it's so huge and there are um, if you want to go get all the bonus points you just have to know the level really well and um, because getting bonus points is not just getting them you also have to still finish the race and um, you can't get the bonus points um, just in a single race you have to do it in a championship mode and there will be the other drivers and if you fall back more than a minute you will be disqualified so you need to do it fast it's, it's it can be described as the silver coin challenges of beetle adventure racing it's just that it's not eight coins it's 100 points and there will be a huge punishment if you are not fast enough If, if you do the category bonus circuit, max points, where you have to get the points in every level of bonus circuit, there's the problem that you still need to win the championship by points, because if you don't, you don't get the credits and it doesn't count. one thing I forgot there are also flower boxes in this game those are like uh, cheat tokens they activate those funny cheats that you can use and some of them are really annoying to get and uh, we were thinking about creating a category for them like a true hundred percent or something but there's just one single flower box that is so annoying to get that it's the reason that no such category exists. It's in the very last level. In the air, you only get two attempts and you have to do a blind jump with the perfect angle and the perfect speed. The harder tricks in the game. So this a really cool shortcut. Needs some serious time. Yeah, it's fine. Um, what I wanted to do there is get a speed boot from that wall on the right side by hitting it. It doesn't really sound like it makes a lot of sense, but it does in the physics of beetle racing, because um, if you just slightly hit walls, you actually go, go faster for maybe a few frames over your max speed. And that wall there is a bit glitchy and actually allows you to drive on it if you're at that speed. It's a neat trick to get on the on the shortcut section here in lap one. There are actually many methods of doing it, but that would have been the fastest. <laughs> that jump man. Yeah, this jump is not that bad because you can get another jump here that uh, throws you inside the dragon. The dragon isn't solid, but it forces you to reset. Oh, I got really close with a fence clip.
this is the shortcut section that saves so much time. It's um, by far the best intended shortcut in the game. And after I exit the shortcut section, I try to not go uh, jump too much from the right side because if I do, I will actually clip to the ground a bit and lose all my speed. Oh, I'm so happy I got this jump twice, because it's one of the harder jumps in the game. It's not working if you're too slow, it's not working if you're too fast. And sometimes you can get it, but uh, land in a glitchy way and still fail. <laughs> Legendary church jump. Uh, you see what it did to me there? The landing gets me on two wheels, and that's really bad. I can't really do much then, so it's <coughs> exchange if that happens. And now get ready for time. And time. Surgery. All right, Andy. So that's Beetle Adventure Racing. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I actually got world record uh, in practice yeah. <laughs> and yesterday. And I beat the old fastest recorded time again today. So it, I had a bit bad luck now, but it's okay for a marathon. Yeah, great run, Andy. <laughs> hey, thanks to everyone of you.